everybody! Today I'm going to be opening up this set number 60662. It is one of the Rescue Action Series and it is a mountain biker rescue. It looks like it comes with a little ATV and a mountain bike and a dog. <laughs> I have very few of like the, the rescue sets, the firemen or the policemen or anything like that. I have very few vehicles in general. I just don't have the storage space at the moment and it's not really ever appealed to me as much. I didn't really collect stuff like that when I was a kid. But I saw this set. I liked that it came with the bike. I loved that it came with a rescue dog. And I just overall really liked the premise. So let's go ahead and get this one opened up and see what all we've got. So first of all, we've got the body of the rescue ATV here. I feel like for this one we're definitely going to need the directions. Alright. I don't know if I've mentioned this before, the one thing with Playmobil is that I do wish that they would package relevant pieces together rather than just kind of having it all in various assorted bags. It would just make it a little bit easier <laughs> in dumping everything out, but at the same time dumping everything out is really fun. So, okay. Let's go ahead and start hunting pieces. So here we have uh, okay. A rear rack. Let's see if we can't find the handlebars. Perfect. Handlebars. All right, looks like we got a little pivot action on the handlebars there. So next we've got. Hmm, I don't know the technical name for this piece. Front grill, I guess. Ah, there we go. It just attaches on those little slots right there. We've got the front windshield. Perfect. Now the rear rack, which goes this way. Some lights. A little blue emergency beacon. Alrighty. Next, we are going to be giving it some movement. Alright, so there's one tire, which. There we go. Alright, there we go. Four wheels, the correct number. And there's also this, I guess the winch, which looks like it goes on the front. Ah. Perfect. Now the tricky part. <laughs> We've got some rope here, and this is going to be the rescue rope, which will tow people out of danger, I guess. But it looks like we are going to be threading it through this little hole. Considering that I also sew as a hobby, I really should be a little bit better at doing this. There we go. Okay, we're going to just tie a knot to keep that from going out the other side. There we go. Okay. Sturdy. And then this side goes around a hook. All right, there we go. There's our little hook. And then this attaches to the winch. I don't actually think it's a winch. 
I don't think that's the correct term, but <laughs> that's the term I know. Pulley system, maybe. Maybe pulley is correct. Okay. And it looks like we... Let's just wind up that rescue rope real quick. Alright, there we go. And it looks like on the back we are going to be attaching our trailer hitch for the... Rescue stretcher. Here's our rescue stretcher. Here's its wheels. And that clips in. There we go. There's our rescue vehicle ready to go. Perfect. Let's go ahead and assemble the bike. We're gonna skip this uh, one step for now. Again, I really, I really just like how Playmobil designs their bikes. I think it's a fun, it's a fun design. It's just complex enough to be noticeably detailed without it being too much, you know? Perfect. And of course we have a little bike stand. Nice. All right. Now we're going to just go ahead and assemble the rock that I, I guess our wayward biker may have crashed into. Here's our signpost. And one sign is pointing to Tao Valley Valley. Other one is Gipfu Peak Sime? Jean? I'm not sure. I also don't recognize those flags. Now, finally, well, next to finally, let's assemble our figurines. Here's our biker. He's got a snazzy little bike shirt with some green stripes. He's got a helmet, very important. And we've got our rescue ranger. He has a nifty hat and it looks like he's got a map of the area so he knows exactly where to patrol. And of course we cannot forget our very brave canine rescue dog. Look at that face. Wouldn't you want to be saved by that face? <laughs> Looks like here we've also got a little backpack. We're just going to go through the accessories real quick. Let's put the backpack on the ranger. We've also got a little first aid kit in which we're going to put a knife, a pair of scissors, some tweezers, and a needle. Maybe it's an EpiPen. Boom, all right. That's gonna go right in there. We've also got a flashlight for nighttime rescue, very important. And additionally, we've got a walkie-talkie and a piece of technology that I'm unfamiliar with, but I'm sure serves some purpose. And finally, I think this is an armband for the biker. I'll have to double check, but I'm gonna say that's what it is. Okay, we cannot forget our stickers for the first aid kit. We're just gonna go ahead and apply those. Hmm. These are a little uncooperative here. Not my best application, but it'll do. There we 
That one's better. And then it looks like that mystery piece of technology <laughs> was a GPS. So we're just gonna... That would explain a lot. There we go. And that is our mountain biker rescue set. So many fun little pieces that it comes with. So many fun little details. I like the, uh, the pulley system. I like the little first aid kit. This is definitely more of a play piece than a collector's piece for sure. Just because there's, you know, you could put the, the biker guy in here. You could pull up his bike with the little pulley. You could have the dog come into play. Definitely a great play piece for anybody who has a bunch of different figures. You know, anyone who has multiple of the biker figures maybe, or has maybe an ambulance that could come help. Either way, great set. Certainly a fun one to add to my collection. Thanks for joining me for this unboxing, and I will see you next time. Bye!